Hello coders, how are you? I hope you are fine. Today we will solve another problem, problem number 15 in late code uh, website. And let me check the change the color to orange. Yes. And it's of medium difficulty. So the problem name is three sum. What's required from us is given a list of numbers, integer numbers. To find the three numbers when it's add up to, together, the total will be zero. Thus, uh, so the summation of three numbers should be zero and it should not contain duplicate triplets. So no duplicate results. For example, for this array, we have minus one, minus one, two, minus one, zero, one. And it cannot be like, for example, we have minus one, minus one, and two and if you have something like minus one two and minus one it's not acceptable it is duplicate this is considered duplicate uh, it's just the order is not the same but the items are exactly the same this is are the same this is the same and this is the same so the first way how to think about solving this problem is like we do three loops like this is outer loop and this is like we have let's say a plus b and plus c should equal zero it should equal zero zero sorry okay so we start outer loop and then we have another loop and then we have another loop and we take all the three possibilities of three numbers and we add them to each other and then we get the results to find out that total is zero but this way it will be big o of n to power three and also it might have duplicate so this is obviously not the best method to solve it okay let me put equal here so other way to solve it is like take this as a let's say this is a we do one loop okay and each time we take the first element as a let's say here is minus five and then we search for b and c okay and we can use if you solve before two sum co uh, problem we can solve it this using two sum problem okay and to find the b and c so also here we will find out that there's only this possibility to add up to zero so it will be three and two will add up to zero and then we select this as a and so on and select this and a and so on but the problem also still exists here if we let's say select this as a which is minus five and then we will find this three and this two will add up to zero and two zero okay and then we select this as a and there is nothing will add up to zero or maybe there is also there is which is no there isn't there isn't we select this as a there isn't and we select this as a okay so we select three as a and then minus 5 will be b and then 2 will be c and this will add also to 0 but as you see we have also duplicate here this is the same as this one 2 2 3 3 minus 5 and minus 5 so we did not solve the problem of duplicate how we can solve it the best way is first we sort the array we sort we sort it and we start with this as a okay minus five and we will find out later two and three will add up to be zero to be zero good so next time we finish from this iteration now we come here and we select this as a but we will see this is minus five and we say if this is equal to the previous then we skip to the next point because we already checked minus five as a so there is no need to check it again and because it's sorted 
there is no way to end up like this as a when we come here this as a and there's minus 5 as b because it's sorted so after 3 it will be bigger number not smaller because it's sorted so we also guarantee the uniqueness of the solution so we come to this minus 5 we ignore it we come to 0 if we select 0 it will not add add up to zero and here is all positive so it will not add up to any positive number so here we guarantee there is only one solution which is minus five two and three even though there's two minus five and there's two threes we guarantee there is not two solution okay someone may think let's solve it here we select a as minus five okay then what will we left off with this and when we come here as B, which is two, we also have two possibilities, two threes. We have two threes. So we could have, this is as first three and we have another solution, but this three represent the second three. We, when we come to this issue, we will solve it also. And in the two sum, we will do the same check as here if the previous when we shift the index if the previous is the same as this one we will jump here so we will jump from here to here i will show you in the code i will explain it in the code but the point if we have two numbers consecutive two numbers are the same we will jump one of them this is a point another point i want to mention when we select a and we search for the summation for after we select a we selected the a so what left off is two sum and two sum for sorted array is big o of n operation while two sum for not sorted array not a sorted array it will be big o of n square and there is selecting a is big o of n so the total will be big O of N3 without sorting. With sorting, selected A is big O of N because we will go to every element to be A. Of course, except these two because it should be B and C. So till here, so still consider a big O of N. And two sum is big O of N. So the total will be big O of N square. And sorting itself, uh, sorting itself is let me write it here is big O of n log n plus big O of n square and since this is bigger than this so it will be considered big O of n square the time complexity of this problem so let's now go to the Jupyter lab and write the code to solve this issue and in, in the code I will explain more so we are given input nums as a list and let's start, uh, first uh, initiate initiate result as uh, empty array and then we say nums dot sort we sort it in ascending order and we do a loop for i n is a number one number of the list in in a more rate for the nums first we will check if the next item equal to the previous item or not so if it's equal we already selected it and we don't need to check it again like in the example i mentioned minus five sorry and another minus five so if the second minus five is equal to the first minus five there's no need to check this again because we already checked it here and that's mean it our checking will not start from index zero it will start from index one so here we will say if i is bigger than zero so started from index one and n the number is equal to the previous one to the nums of of uh, i minus one so we just skip this loop we do continue continue we'll skip the loop okay so if everything is fine we start the index of left and right index for the two sum operation which will be the i plus one because the i will be the i will be the value of a 
and uh, i plus one we will start uh, our b and length of nums minus one sorry minus one should be outside minus one it's the index for the c this is will be index for b and this is what the index for c and this is to some operation for the sorted list of numbers simply while left is less than right so total will equal n plus nums of left plus nums of right okay and simply is like this what's this let's say we have array like minus five and minus five and zero and let's say before zero let's say minus two and let's say zero and one and two and three and four and so on so first we will select minus five as first number a then my, this minus five will be left index and this four will be right index we want the total to be zero so minus five plus minus five plus four will be minus six. Okay, so we will check if total here, if total is bigger than zero, which is not zero and it should be zero, we move the right index to the left. How we move right index to the left? This is the right index to the left. This is the right index. We move it to left by sub subtracting the index by one. But actually here it's less than zero, not bigger than zero, because here we get minus six. So this is first F statement. So LF total is less than zero. We move the left index to the right. And how we move this left index to the right? In, we increase the index by one. So what will become, become minus two and minus four is minus seven and four will be minus three. Still is less than zero. We move it here. It becomes zero and minus five and four will be minus one. So we move the left index here will become A is minus five. B will be one and C will be four, which adds up to zero and we get our results as minus five, one and four. But here we will not stop, we will continue, we will move the index again here and this will become minus five, two and four will be plus one, which is bigger than zero. We have to move the right index to the left. We move it here and we give us another solution, which is zero. The point here, I want to explain the two sum operation is if the total is bigger than zero, and because it's sorted from small number to high number, so if bigger than zero, so we need a smaller number. So we move the right index to the left to get smaller number. If it's less than zero, so we need a bigger number. And how to get bigger number? We move the left index to the right to get a bigger number and so on. Okay, I'll explain something else here. What's left is else, which means the total is equal to zero. So simply, if we get a result, we append it to the, our result and we say it's our list is m nums of left and nums of right. This is the correct result and we appended it. But still, we need to move the index. And let's say we have something like, let's say, like we have a uh, two sum operation. We have two, two zero zero and minus two and minus two okay we found this and this add up to zero the problem if we move let's say here let's move the left because we will move the left by one if you move the left by one we'll come here and we do our checking still c is this one it will be two and minus two it will zero and will give us another correct result but it will be identical to this two plus minus this two do you see the problem here because we have repeated number could be three twos could be three twos here 
because we have repeated and we will have another solution which is also unique to previous solution so what we do here we will check if this number is equal to this number we jump we 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 jump and we keep jumping till this number is not equal to this number and we come here like example zero and minus two which is actually should be here two and here should be minus two because it's sorted so here will become zero and here two it will be bigger than zero so we will, will be forced again to move the right index to the left and still will be bigger than zero we have to move it again to the left so when we fix one index like the left one the right index it will automatically be uh, fixed by these rules so here my point is we need to fix it and here we write while nums of left equal nums of left minus one and still we are not we did not jump to the right side okay we shift it again if it's equal we shift it again we keep shifting till it's not equal and that's it here what we do is simply return the result and we have spelling mistake somewhere where is it this the threesome Mm, why nums while nums here should be nums also yeah it, it looks working so let me copy this code and we go to the let code website and test it there so i paste the code here let me submit so it's taking some time this is the previous uh, run i run it uh, because i test the code before i write it so i tested it it's let me refresh the website it's taking very long time maybe i did some mistake here let me submit again hopefully it works yeah it's working now uh, time complexity is good memory is good Thank you very much for watching, please leave a comment and I'll see you in the next video.